how do you tackle a shatna? Well, first of all, you okay. Sometimes during the roast, there's things they ban you from joking about. But you, obviously, so, you're you know, not going to no, you know, no, you have to, or else they're going to cut it out of the broadcast okay. anyway. So why bother? So Shatner said we couldn't talk about his dead wife. Remember, she was found in a pool or something. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn, there goes half my jokes. <laughs> so, you know, so there's always something you can't joke about. Like with Pam Anderson, it was a hepatitis C joke. You know, there were some things they think are over the line. That's one great thing about Trump. There was no boundaries. He did not care. That's the good thing about Hasselhoff. He said anything. I don't care if I'm a drunk or whatever. You put out there what you can. But how'd you penetrate Shatner's heart? I penetrated Shatner in a different way. <laughs> I went, I went where many men have gone before. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. I think he just liked me. You know, it's not like we're best friends or anything. Did you, you guys did you tell him? Did too. you tell him you killed one of his horses and put it, you know, put it in his bed or something? No, what? I think it's just they. I have a demeanor that most people know what they're gonna get. They know I'm an insult comic. They know I'm gonna really not mean anything I say. And you know what? If they like me, they like me. They don't. They don't. I'm not some big Hollywood douchebag. Like I'm a comic. Like, I don't apologize for jokes. Who's going to fire me? I'm self-employed. <laughs> so I just go, eh, if they get me, that's great. I think that's the difference with comics. Your first seven years, shut up. Your first, <laughs> I'm way more interested in the yeah, first I, The first seven years, <laughs> the first seven years as a comic are like, oh my God, why don't they get me? The second seven years is like, F them if they don't get me. And the next seven is you know what? If they get me, great. If they don't, that's fine, too. So it's coming to settle with that you'll all have your audience. Enough people go to see me to make a living. I mean, I don't like to brag, but I got three mortgages and two Toyota Camry. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what until that, homeboy? A million dollars. <laughs>